Hello, and welcome to the mid-year book freakout tag. So today, when I'm posting this, is the 15th of June, which is halfway exactly through the year, because it's the half waypoint of the sixth month, you know. Which, coincidentally, is one of my best friend's birthday, so happy birthday to her. And every year in June, I do this tag, or at least try to. I have since I've been on booktube, so every year I do this tag. So let's get into it. So this tag has 13 questions, and I will leave the original creators in the description. I think they have since deleted their original videos but I'll still tag them. So the first question is the best book you've read so far this year. I'm an extremely indecisive person if you're new here, hello. So I don't think I can choose. The two books I am deciding between which one is my favorite so far are these two. This one might be my favorite, but these are equally five stars amazingness. I think this is my favorite so far of the year. I'm just gonna go with this one. So the next question is the best sequel you've read so far, and I have two, again, um, from two slightly different genres. The first one is Take a Hint, Danny Brown, love this one, almost as much as the first one, it was super fun to read. And the other book is Painted All Red, which is the last book of the Mindfuck series, which I recently finished. But if I had to choose one of them, it would be this one. The next question is a release that has already come out that you want to read but haven't yet. Basically, that's the question. And for that, um, I'm going to choose Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I've recently bought it. I'm just waiting for it to come to my house. Even though I didn't really like um, People We Meet on Vacation, um, I'm excited for Book Lovers. People have been saying that it's good, so I'm excited. The next question is anticipated releases for the second half of the year. I obviously have a few, so um, I don't know how many, if I can narrow it down to one. Actually, I think I can. I'm so pumped, excited, I will literally buy it, maybe pre-order it, as soon as it comes out. And it is Never Getting Back Together by Sophie Gonzalez, so excited. I have a vague notion of what it's about, but not 100%, so <laughs> I just love Sophie Gonzalez and I've loved all her books that I've read so far, so I'm really excited. Next is my biggest disappointment. I don't know. I don't have a specific one, once again, hello, I'm indecisive. I have three, for three kind of separate reasons, I guess. Um, the first one is People We Meet on Vacation, which I just talked about, basically. Um, I thought I was gonna love this, didn't, kind of sad. Same reason goes for instructions for dancing, so I guess these two are the same category, I'm just stupid. And then one that is actually a different category is A Vow So Bold and Deadly, which is the last book in the Curse Breakers trilogy. I wasn't expecting too much out of this, uh, but I wasn't expecting this. I wanted at least a good ending, and this was not it. This low-key ruined the series for me, and I really liked the first two, so... <laughs> hmm. Probably this would be my biggest disappointment, now that I think about it. <laughs> Next is my biggest surprise, and I think for that I'm gonna choose this whole series. Um, because TikTok recommended this to me, low-key kind of. Um, I took it as a recommendation. Um, and I bought it not really expecting much because some books on TikTok are questionable. Just saying. But this literally was so good. I gave this whole series as a whole a 4.5. Loved it. it. was so entertaining. It's not the best book ever written. You don't fall in love with the words. Um, seeing as there's a lot of like grammatical errors and stuff. But the plot and the characters are fun to read about. And it was just fun. I needed something fun. And this fit that need, and it was good. I don't know how to explain this, I'm rambling. The next question is if you have a new favorite author, and I do, Talia Hibbert, obviously. Also, maybe S.T. Abbey, but for this question, I would choose Talia Hibbert. The next question is a new fictional crush, which, to be honest, there's not one that I'm like, instantly comes to mind. Um, there's just two. They're like in the back of my brain. They're not like 
a crush like the hating games Josh like that is my fictional crush these are like if I saw them in person maybe I'd be like ooh that's yes the two characters that I'm thinking about are Jake I think from the Italian job and Nick from fancy meeting you here they're just cute and wholesome and hot the next question is a new favorite character and for that I'm going to say I don't know how to say his name but I do win I have no clue I'm gonna write his name here but he's a character in a court of crows and he was super funny so loved him honestly any character in that book could be a new favorite but I'm gonna say I do win I don't know how to say his name I can't even say it but that's who I'm saying. The next question is a book that made you cry. And for obvious reasons, I'm gonna say this again, because I sobbed for at least 20 minutes whilst finishing this, and the day after I sobbed for at least 10 minutes. So this is the definition of a book that made you cry. Jesus. The next question is a book that made you happy, um, and Thinking about that question, I would say literally any of the romances that I read kind of made me happy, but for this I'm going to be choosing the only reread so far this year because I love this book and it just makes me happy reading it because it's so cute and wholesome and it's fast and I love them. The next question is the most beautiful book you've bought or received this year. And once again, Miss Indecisive has no clue what to choose. Um, the book that is most beautiful that I've received is Anne of Green Gables, which I got from my friend Georgia. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Then I also have, this one is one of my favorite like book covers of the books that I bought this year, even though I didn't like the book. Or, you can probably tell which books I just took because that fell over. These two books are absolutely stunning and my god. I don't know. For that question, I can't choose literally, so just assume that I chose one. And the last question is, what books do I need to read before the end of the year? There's a lot. Um, I made a video at the beginning of the year that are the 22 books I want to read this year. I still haven't read like any of them. <laughs> so yeah, basically all of those. And I also still haven't read all of the books in my five star predictions. I kind of want to get to that. I think there's just four remaining. It's all the Truly Devious books. It's Good Omens, Renegades, which I've been putting off so long. <laughs> I need to read that. That's number one on my list. Renegades, where are you? This series needs to be read this year. I started it and I didn't even finish. It still has a, like a bookmark, which is a card, fun fact, and a post-it where I left off because I haven't continued. I think it's just I'm scared I'm not gonna like it. But I, why would I not like it? I don't know. This is giving me anxiety. <laughs> Basically my answer to that question is I have way too many books that I need to read by the end of the year so I don't even know which ones to talk about. But number one on my list is the Renegades trilogy by Marissa Meyer. Because <laughs> I've had that series how long? Maybe three years, four years, I have no clue too long and I've put it off for too long so that needs to get read maybe next month I'll try I don't know so those are the superlatives I guess so far in this year I don't know what I'm saying it's been way too hot these days I'm practically nude because this is mesh and I'm still sweating but that is everything for today and I'll see you in my next word video bye <laughs>